<laughs> I love it. All right, folks. Also, uh, if you'd like to call in uh, with your chirps, your New York chirps, moments, thoughts, or opinions, please call 646 690 2976. 646 690 2976. Please call in to chirp about it. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Uh, we'd love to hear your, uh, your comments for sure. All right, we'll just cover some local topics and then uh, we'll do our round of chirps as we usually do. And then uh, we'll take a break, and then we'll come back and uh, in- interview our uh, very lovely, interesting guest. So we do Bing. the news, and then we do the chirps, yep. and then we, we're lovely in interviewing guests. That is okay. correct. All right, I want to make uh, sure. With that, I have a, a dear friend of mine uh, from Australia, and he is in New York City. He goes by the name of John Potter. Welcome, John. Thank you. It's lovely to be here. Oh, oh I love that voice. You see, that's Doesn't culture. Great, I know. You leave Planet <laughs> USA and you get culture. That's a cultured voice. <laughs> well, welcome, John. We're really happy to have you here. And I, but trust me, I think we're going to have a spectacular time with you on the show. It's great evening. to be here. I have to say so. It's a great voice. Isn't it? You, you drop your pants, you hear a voice like that, don't you? <laughs> I love or your it. dress, or whatever you want. Oh, or oh, whatever you want. <laughs> you can drop anything. John, uh, uh, Bob, it's a regular you, joint. Drop whatever you want. You never fail, Bob. I love it. I All right, I'll just, well, you know, the World Cup is uh, officially over now, of course. Yes. France, yes. France, France, or France. How do you Fra- say, bro, uh, I, uh, Bob? I say France. France or France. You're like in your pants, France. Okay, well, they officially uh, has taken it. You know, they won That's the right. World Je ne sais quoi, voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Oh, 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 Jay Louis. Congratulations to France for uh, taking the World Cup. Oh, it was a very good uh, good game. They're so full of themselves, you, the French, so now they have something to be full of. Well, let me ask you, did you watch the game? I didn't watch one frame of it. I have no interest in, yeah. in football, as in they call it out there. <laughs> but we uh, call it soccer. Trump had to remind other people. We call it soccer in the USA. <laughs> yes. John, I know you watched the game. What did you think of the game, the World Cup? Well, I too, and I'm not particularly interested in soccer. We have AFL in Australia. Mm-hmm. Uh, AFL, yeah. And uh, in Victoria, it's basically a religion. Yeah. Oh, it's ah. People follow it more than they ever do, mm. even soccer or your gridiron over here. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's interesting, huh? I, yeah. Very well, you know, football here now has a bad rap because people get wrapped in the head, you know, and they get <laughs> punched. Tra- and, you know, years ago, like you watch the old football movies and stuff, you see these guys are just wearing like little space cadet caps and they have no, you know, padding. And I don't know why they all didn't die. But uh, <laughs> but now these guys are wearing these big things and they still can bring concussions, boy. Well, it is it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, also, you know, uh, our restu- restaurant week will be uh, starting uh, next week, Monday mm. on the 23rd. Uh, it goes up to uh, August 17th. So that should be fun. So, uh, you know, if you have, well, I think you can start making reservations uh, uh, starting today. In fact. Really? Okay. Yeah. So uh, you want to partake in Restaurant Week here in New York City? It's 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 always amazing. Is you it know, two for one or seven two, for eight? Two, or who knows? But you know, thirteen for a dozen. To shop around for deals. Deals. It's always uh, it's always good. It's always fun to go out and visit uh, uh, new restaurants and uh, new dishes and so on and so forth. So. Uh, you know, look, you could tie one. To that. You could tie one on with Taiwanese. Tie one, I love that. Yeah, tie one on with Taiwanese. <laughs> That's a good one. I like That's a that. good catchphrase. Yeah. yeah. We also uh, uh, today, on a sadder note, uh, marks the uh, fourth anniversary uh, of uh, Eric Garner's yeah, death. Yeah. You know, he was the gentleman who uh, passed away four years ago uh, from apparently or allegedly a chokehold from a police. Well, he officer. said he was he was choking. He was choking. He, yeah. he, uh, you could hear it on the tape. Yeah, and uh, obviously, you know, <sighs> they didn't. Uh, no one really took him seriously, so the man passed away. He expired. Uh, so today, in fact, today exactly makes it exactly four day uh, four years since his passing. So the, the again, tape was always amazing to me because he he does look big. He looks like he could probably take twenty people or something. Yeah. But they got that cho- choke hold on him, and he's not doing anything but falling yeah. down. And well, you know, I think they were intimidated by his size. Yeah. So he had uh, about I don't know four or five different officers uh, mm-hmm. on him. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that uh, you know that's that's sad. It but, is sad. I mean, I guess they were just, they were uh, scared. You know, they were scared Well, that's him. what I think as well. You know, and, um, uh, most of the time uh, when officers, uh, uh, when officers um, approach a situation yeah. or approach or uh, apprehend someone, right. a lot of times they're afraid. I have yeah, to say so. Uh, and I know a lot of people like to blame the officers because they're too aggressive and so mm-hmm. on and so forth. I'm not taking sides. But there are, there are uh, two sides to a story. 
Mm-hmm. Um, they should so, be afraid because they don't know what's going to happen. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Absolutely. You know, so but they don't. It, they don't want to be on the defense either. They should absolutely. be, but they don't want to. Yeah, but in Eric Gardner's case, I think that's a little different. It was too Four much. Officers and so on and so forth. But anyway, my prayers and uh, goes out to his mom. Yeah. No. Um, in fact, the uh, the Department of Justice uh, uh, will actually uh, the NYPD, in fact, will uh, will step in mm. if uh, uh, the Department of Justice does not. Uh, decide not to prosecute these officers. Yeah, so, they, you know that, yeah, that tape is so. I mean, it, it's so yeah. it's so obvious that because there's like four or five guys on him, yeah. so it isn't just one guy. And it's like, what were they so afraid of? It was it was very sad. But I think they all panicked. Yeah. Again, you know, there's, it's it's about training, and that's mm-hmm. why the NYPD they're looking to step in and uh, you know start to work, begin to work with these officers. Uh, on how to handle themselves and right. and uh, the people they're apprehending or trying to apprehend. So um, it, it's a working process, just like everything else. I'll mention one thing about our president. Uh, I'm sure we all watched that, whatever you want to call it, the speech no. or the meeting, the meeting between he and uh, uh, Vladimir It was Putin. Laurel meets Hardy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, uh, I know he's, get, he's getting it from everybody. I mean, his own party, all over the place. Yeah, you know. I thought you um, said he was gay, and I thought that maybe that was the whole <laughs> no the whole subtext but, um, of them together. It, 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 it was on a, top. It was a what do you think? <laughs> You're funny, Bob. I love it. Uh, it was a mistake on his end. Um, he doesn't know any better. He's not an experienced politician. No, he's, he did. and uh, and and that, I'm just going to leave it at that. He does not know any better. I but, don't know, uh, John. Do you want to say something? Yeah. You want to add on? C- can I say this? Absolutely. Yes. Uh, Trump is really into immigration. And as such, he stands a very good chance of being able to immigrate to Russia because he loves it so much. And that's the impression that the the whole world has got. (laughs) Well, you know, uh, it was so funny watching him with the Queen because he... um you know, he uh, <laughs> she she gestures for them to walk together, mm-hmm. and uh, he jumps in front of her and like blocks her, and she's behind him like, "What is he doing?" And then she sort of has to s- dance around him, and uh, it's so funny that he just has no idea of protocol. He has no, or- he has no clue, and that, that, that's my point. I mean, should you really blame this man? I mean, he doesn't have a clue. As to what well, really uh, about this job or what this job really holds, the, the, the weight of being the president of the free world. I we, mean, you well, know. you know, it, it, it's, it's strange. The people, the problem is the people around him. That he, he should say, okay, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I need some, you know, a director. I need a yeah. stage manager. He's not, I need, he's he doesn't not. have any he, people around him saying, no, this is what you he, do. He does have the people. Bob. But he doesn't listen. He doesn't listen. They probably you tell know, him, right? He, of course. He doesn't listen. He has doesn't a ton hear of smart it. people around him. And he doesn't listen. You know, in fact, one of the his advisors said, uh, you know, he, he that wasn't uh, part of the plan. You know, his entire speech, what he said. Wow. He did very fun, very well before the Q&A. <laughs> so, you know, you can't, you just have to stop, cut off his mic when it comes to the uh, time for Q, uh, Q&A. Well, he has to really be properly uh, uh, scripted. I mean, he probably would go off script anyway. Who knows? What do you say, John? Well, there's a great time for reflecting on uh, whether Trump should be president. Uh, from the point of view of an Australian, we have compulsory voting. Now, had the United States had compulsory voting, everyone would have voted, and maybe, and probably, he would not get in. Mm-hmm. So how does that work, compuls- compulsory voting? You mean you, 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 you have to vote? You have to vote under penalty of, of uh, a fine. Wow! And the fines are very hard to get out of, so that uh, you have to go, even if you put an informal vote in, that is, if you don't want to vote for anyone. A dog or a cat or whatever. You, well, yeah. as long as you're there, you fill in the form. Carrie Grant. And you vote. Yeah. And uh, let's face it, there's only very few people that would ever not vote. And right. They would be subject to the penalties, mm-hmm. which wow. are quite severe. Wow. That, you know, that's a, I think it's a good idea, actually. It is a good idea. Because so many people don't vote. So many people don't. And they just figure, well, you know, he's not going to get into the White House. Hello? Hello? Well, it's a wake-up call. <laughs> it's a wake-up call. You'll have, it uh, one, you'll have it one day, and people will say, remember the days when you didn't have to vote? <laughs> That's yeah. right. Fancy not having to vote. Yeah. Yeah. This is a very – this is an interesting transition. I think history will show that this – all these errors, all these mistakes will hopefully – 
knock wood, well, uh, he, uh, teach us a lesson for the future and things will be better. And I'll look back. Oh, you remember the time we had well, this course. president? I mean, I these, hope. these are all life lessons, of course. I, I mean, hope. You know, uh, failure helps you learn. I mean, that's, that's, that's what it is. Also, uh, Governor Andrew Cuomo, you know, uh, in fact, is uh, he's raking in a ton of money. For his uh, for his reelection Ooh. for the you know before even before the primaries in fact right. the uh, primaries I believe is September thirteenth mm. so uh, a little bit I think a little shy of two months or what have you mm-hmm. and he's uh, his arrival is uh, Cynthia Nixon who's yeah. way behind him uh, oh, really in yeah. the polls and in the, as far as money raising money in fact uh, he has in hand uh, a little over thirty one million dollars oh, okay wow. in hand for his campaign uh, can I get a handout. Um, <laughs> and, and Nixon, Cynthia Nixon, only has one one point six million. In well, there are people that just won't vote for Nixon. People of my generation, we didn't vote for Nixon then. We're not going to vote for Stop. Nixon now. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any thought about on her anyway? Well, she's all over the place. I, I see her on TV all the time. That they show a, a clip from Sex in the City. Yeah. I, well, I, I thought well she won already. I, just, I see her face all the time. Yeah. You know? Well, she's very well known for uh, her. Her. A New York her one. She's all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. she's trying. I mean, yeah. you know, she's trying, but. We'll see what happens. So, folks, yeah. if you didn't know, the uh, primary is exactly on uh, September 13th. And, uh, of course, Election Day is sometime in November. I'm not sure of the exact date, but I'll keep you informed. Uh, it's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. <laughs> well, uh, a day of my show. So I'll be on, oh, I'll be yes. on the air, okay. of course. Yeah. No question. They can run out. You tell All them right. to stop listening and run out and vote by 9 o'clock. All right. <laughs> I'll cover one more topic, and then uh, we'll uh, do what we do best, which okay. is uh, chirp about it. We'll read some chirp, comments chirp, from chirp, real chirp. New Yorkers. All right. Um, this is a very interesting one. There's a new a new uh, program, and it's called Culture Pass. All right. Mm-hmm. It was launched yesterday, yesterday, Monday. Uh, and it allows uh, all library card holders uh, to get a free pass to at least 33 museums in New York City. Wow. Throughout the city, throughout the five boroughs, I should say. Wow. So uh, Manhattan, uh, Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, Staten Island. Uh, and these museums include, uh, of course, MoMA, mm-hmm. uh, Metropolitan uh, Museum, Museum of Art, uh, the uh, the Intrepid Sea, uh, and... Uh, Air and Space Museum. Well, Mum has always had uh, Friday nights or Friday on Friday nights. Oh, did nights. they really? Free movies. Everything's free. You can go. Uh, and I think the New York Historical Society also has events. So, you know, you can go see these events, you know, free on a, on a Friday. Well, that's good to know. I mean, you know, listen, my show here is to inform uh, New Yorkers and, of course, people who visit New York. You see, uh, as uh, John is here from Australia. He and his lovely daughter, Sarah. So, oh. uh they can uh, partake in what Sweet. I'm mentioning uh, on on the show. All right, with that, I think it's about that time to do what we do best and liven up the show. What do you say, Bob? All right. All uh, right. Here's All one. All right, Jade, give us some of that tune, oh, folks. These comments are about to hear are real comments from real New Yorkers, your mothers, your brothers, your sex partners, your train conductors, your whomever. <laughs> also, folks, if you'd like to call in with your chirp live, call 646-690-2976. With that, Bob, what do you have? This is from uh, Marsha in Murray Hill. Been living in New York for over 30 years. Finally, I'm grossed out. <laughs> I'm out of here to West Bubble Fuck. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Uh, I don't know what this all means. Uh, hashtag New York City is the filthy. Okay. New York City. Hashtag New York City smells like garbage in <laughs> pee. Hashtag too many Baggers? I don't know. Too many, ha- too many baggers. Ba- ba- maybe beggars. Baggers, it looks like baggers. Okay. Maybe be- uh, hashtag subways are as mess or are mess. And then hashtag $14. Oh, $14 tossed salads. Ooh, that's so a she lot has to issues. She has issues. What do you take? Who's the sharper, by the way? Uh, her name is uh, Marsha from Murray Hill. Murray Hill's oh, a very nice neighborhood. It is a very nice neighborhood. So she's out of here. Where's she going to? West Bubblefuck? Well, I don't know where West Bubblefuck is. I think you <laughs> you make a Coast. you make a, a a left at uh, East Dickwad, <laughs> and then you proceed up North Scrotum. But if you go the wrong way, you go back to South Anus. <laughs> okay. But All I right. And then you get to Bubblefuck West West Bubblefuck. Don't go to North Bubblefuck. Go to West Bubblefuck. All right. I'll, well, I'll kick your ass. Thank you for that, Sir Marsha. We love them. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. That's her chirp. All right, John, what do you have to chirp about? Well, this, <laughs> is, this is from Brian Harlem. Here in New York, we have our own signature smell of burnt pretzels, subway track grease, 
and a whiff of your own. <laughs> Every strip of the way. That's how I love it to me. I love New York City. Oh, that's, a, oh, that's nice. an interesting chirp. I have to say he is actually right about that. You do mm. smell the... Pr- I actually love the smell of, uh, of I like uh, chestnuts. burnt pretzels. And the chestnuts. Chestnuts as yeah. well, yes, correct. And then uh, we have uh, Subway track grease. I don't know. I, I never really pay attention to that. To that. I got to pay attention no. to Subway track grease. No. But, the, uh, of course, the uh, urine every whiff of the way. Oh. Well, that's a summer phenomenon. We, oh, hear, we yeah. smell that in the summertime. Yeah, it smells yeah. like piss all over the place. In the oh, winter, yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, smell yeah. the piss. That's, uh... <laughs> I love it. All right, who's the chirper, by the way, John? Who's the chirp? Who's the chirper by? Oh. Who's the chirp by? Oh, Brian Harlem. In fact, he's, uh, he's got a few uh, problems. Uh, Brian, Brian the, is from Harlem. The, the next one is uh, Dear New York City Tourists. Oh, okay. You want to do it? Okay, the, the, let's do it. The train is... Not your children's personal playground. Ooh. <laughs> Please respect other people and the city you're visiting. Please. I love that. Well, I think Brian has, a, has something to be said. Uh, well, something to be said to Mr. Brian from, uh, from Harlem. No, no, I, I agree with that. I see that. I mean, you know, a couple of weeks ago, you were here, Bob, when mm-hmm. we had, uh, Stuart read a chirp about uh, some kids playing Ring Around the Rosie on, on the crowd. Yeah, track. it's a little strange. I mean... Yeah, I think the parents should kind of... Uh, reel them in. Yeah, it's a yeah, moving train, too, you would think. You I mean, know. you know, people are on the train. People, You don't know what kind of mood people are in in this city. You know, yeah. they're crazy people. They're happy people. So let's not uh, compromise any, 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 you know, any, anything like that. So, all right, great chirp, by the way. All right, I'm going to read a chirp myself since uh, we're, well, we don't have much people here. All right, this one says, Random thing to ask a stranger in New York City. Can't you hold my iced coffee while I search for my Metro card? What nerd! Wow. I love it. And that's from Angelina. That would from get Tribeca. me one. That would get me one uh, iced coffee, Angelina from Tribeca. If you ask me to I hold it. it. Actually, I think someone asked me. Has that actually someone asked me to hold their book bag once while they, you know, well, search nice. their uh, wallet or purse for uh, for their card or what have you. But all right, that's an interesting chart. I love it. These things are real. Listen, these things are really happening within our city. Well, this is from uh, Leonard from all right, let's Paramus, do it, New Jersey. Have? Says um, Leonard from pa- uh, Paramus, New Jersey. Says almost midnight. Just got back from Times Square. I have a picture of the Hulk, Batman, Spider Man on Alley Road, and we drove past MSG on the horror. I don't know what that is. H. It can't be horror on the... I don't know. Anyway, tonight was freaking awesome. (laughs) Hashtag I love the Big Apple. Hashtag I love New York. And this is... Leonard from Paramus, New Jersey. So he's happy. What is that well, word? Leonard, on the we home. We love you too. We love home. you too, Leonard. Thanks for that on chirp. On the home. That's in fact a great chirp. He's talking about uh, Those what you costume know, characters. Yeah, the I guess. costume characters. I hate and, them. Uh, I hate them too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Those guys are freaking annoying. You know what I? They should what, ship those back. Well, I don't know. The Disney you, World. I, yeah. You know what I hate <laughs> most about them is the fact that they rip off or they try to rip off the tourists. I don't yes. like that at all. You know, I yeah. don't like when people try to take advantage of people. Uh, I mean, you know, Give for me a, a dollar. goddamn picture, dollar. They asked for twenty dollars for a picture. Bucks, of course. And they're not even copyrighted, licensed characters. They're like knockoff. I uh, mean, you know, the mayor, in fact, tried to squeeze the hell out of them. You know, but uh, I mean, these guys have to make a living. I understand. They can they make it legal. You know, you. Can you could, why don't they have a license and uh, yeah. have rates? And, yeah. You know, they should. Not cool, but I love that chirp. That's a real positive chirp. And uh, mm-hmm. MSG stands for Madison Square Garden, folks. Oh, yes. That's a, I know. got hungry again. M- <laughs> With that, what do you have, uh, John? <laughs> do you have a chirp? <laughs> I love it. I've got one. Somebody's bitching about the transport. <laughs> I'm on the I'm late for work train. Oh. Needless to say, that means it's packed with the rest of the New Yorkers who are also late for work. Mm. I hate New York City transport. <laughs> ah. He says transport, huh? Transport, I love it. Wow. Well, there's some truth to that as well. Mm. You know, when you're... Well, I mean, we're all New Yorkers. Well, you're not... You don't... Did you, travel, did you take the train today, uh, John? I did. You yes. travel by train? I travel by train. What, yeah. what do you think of the, uh, the subway uh, system? I think it's very As peculiar. As a guest of New York City. Peculiar to New York. Uh, you wouldn't put it up with it anywhere else in the world. Anywhere else I in the world. I have never been packed in like a sardine before. Oh, uh, well, you travel really? at, the, at the odd hours, rush hour, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, I, have to, I have to say, there are some good trains. You get an occasional good E or a good A or sometimes a good one, but there are, yeah. Well, this is interesting. Here's the flip side here from 
Gabriel right. at Queens. Gabriel says, my mantra today, I am not in the subway to help you keep your balance while you look at memes on your Insta feed, <laughs> surprisingly sweaty girl. I thought that was kind of interesting. That's, That's true. That's true. Well, you know, they're head down and both hands, uh, I guess both thumbs on your phone. And they're, and they're not they're holding bound. on to a They're bowl. not looking. Not looking. Not they also take, on. you know, I'm a large man. I, I have a avoir du poids. I have a lot of space. There are people who are very thin, but they have a gigantic backpack. They're holding <laughs> a laptop. They take up so much space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not one to talk, but at least I, I try to squeeze myself in. They're, they're, they're just spreading out. They're spreading out. I love it. I love it. That's I love it. That's Gabriel from Queens. All right, Gabriel. Thanks for that chirp. I have a chirp from Freddie, who's from Hell's Kitchen. And Freddie chirps, AC water falling right into my mouth mid-yawn. Feel Ooh. like feel like downing a gallon of bleach right now. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of disgusting. Yeah. You know, it's not that kind of liquid. You don't know exactly what kind of liquid it, it really may be. It may be AC liquid. It may be some, we some don't other wanna... form of liquid. You know, there's some crazy people in New Mystery. York City. Mystery I liquid. know people who piss out their window. So Piss you, out the Really? You better, oh, yeah. You better I once pissed it. in a sink. I, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> but I, Well, that's a little secret. You just oh, chirped about it. Sorry about that. Well, you chirped. That's fine. Uh, that, that didn't happen in Atlantic City. I promise you it didn't happen there. <laughs> I love it. At the All Irish right, pub. Freddie, Third great floor, trip. Room we love him. Three B. No. Well, you know what, Freddie? I'm going to say, keep your. You don't yawn up. You know what are you lying? I mean, you, don't you yawn with your uh, your facing? Well, you yawn like, out. Uh, you mean yawn? Or well, you're, or I mean, urine. You're, I, mean have, I urine out. I mean, for to have oh. AC water dripping into your mouth. I mean, you have to have how are you yawning? You got to oh, be yawning yeah. to the, uh, towards the sky. I mean, well, water drips. Down. What do you say, John? <laughs> am I right? Or he's, am I wrong? he's yawning. You're saying his head's back. AC water. Drops right into my mouth mid yawn. Oh, okay, so mid yawn. Doing, he's doing one of these like ah, cartoon yawns. There you, you go. You stretch out and you go. Ah, ah. And then it went in. And then it went in. Yeah, I can see Ugh, that. I gross, can see that. gross, gross, gross. All right, well, we like that chirp anyway. All right, well, we'll do one more round of chirps and then we'll take a break. Yeah? All right, what do you have, Bob? Sitting on the subway. I'm judging New York City tourists as if I wasn't one. <laughs> in a different country. <laughs> literally yesterday. I can't help it, but this is Meg from Murray Hill. Didn't we hear from Meg before? I don't know if we... Yeah, we, know, we heard from Marsha. They're ganging up on us from Murray Hill. Oh. I, don't, I don't know. So 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 she's just judging New York City tourists as if I wasn't... So I guess she's sort of saying she's the same, right? Is that what she's saying? Well, what, what, she's, what does that she's mean? She's saying that... Um She's judging the tourists, you know, like tourists. As if I wasn't one. Well, because if you travel to another country, you would be, be one. You would be one. Right, So right. she's looking for the courtesy. She should extend the courtesy that she's We are all God's tourists. From, uh, you know, exactly. <laughs> We're tourists of the world. <laughs> well, Max, thanks for that chirp. Keep them coming. Keep yes, them coming. We Murray love them. Hill. Do you all know, right, John, do you have one more chirp? Marsha? No, you ran out. All right, do we have another chirp before we take I, a break? I had four chirps. All right. So, I'll, uh, I'll, I, I, I see your four chirps, and I raise you three chirps. Well, well you know, actually, you know, carry, carrier pigeons were the original tweets. Did you know that? I mean, when Benjamin Franklin would send yeah. a tweet out, it would be a carrier pigeon. It took a long time <laughs> to get, but uh, you got the message eventually. All right. Well, all right, folks. That was our round of chirps. Hope you enjoyed. Please chirp, go chirp, on chirp, to my chirp, website, chirpabatter.com, chirp, 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 chirp. and continue to share your New York moments, thoughts, observations, and opinions. We'd love to hear from you. With that, we're going to take a break, and then we'll be right back with Kimmy B. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Chirp. How about it? Hi, folks. This is Ed Lemo. Who is Ed Lemo, and why should I listen? Ed Lemo is an attorney that is unique in that he gives consumers good, solid information about the law that will help protect them against irresponsible drivers, landowners, and doctors in hospitals who are negligent and cause you harm. Ed Lemo has been representing individuals against insurance companies since 1984. Ed Lemo limits his practice to accident, injury, and medical malpractice claims. You can find out more about me at my website at www. LemoLaw.com. That's www.lemolaw.com. Or you can reach me at 646 522 9082. So if you're injured in an accident or a victim of malpractice and you need a trial attorney who has experience in the courtroom and gets results, call Ed Lemo at 646 522 9082. Or you can reach me at edwardlemo at yahoo.com. Or you can go to 
Go to my website for further information, www.lemolaw.com. You'll be glad you did. Thank you. All right, lemolaw.com, a oh. great personal injury attorney. So Ow, my back. <laughs> oh, I need a lawyer fast. Well, you need to get on the phone with Mr. Ed Lemo. He's, uh, he's really great. Does he have a really limo, really Ed Lemo? <laughs> I love it. Also, this show is brought to you by Papa John's Pizza. Yeah. So for your dinner tonight, please go on to uh, papajohns.com or onto the app and uh, order your pie pizza for, uh, for dinner. Also, uh, Accordia Shipping is one of our sponsors. Accordia Shipping, for all of your shipping needs, go on to accordiashipping.com. Um, Holy shit. All right. And we also have chirping chickens. Chirp, of chirp, course, chirp, chirping chirp. chickens for Love your uh, variety, for a good di- discount. I'm going to have some uh, chirping chicken their later. App, chirping chickens, okay? Chirpingchicken.com and order, uh, get a 5% discount on any meal. Chirpingchickens.com. I hear a ring. All right. You hear a ring. Answer a bell. All right. With that, I believe we have Miss Kimmy, uh, Kimmy B on the line. Kimmy B. Right? Where Kimmy is Kimmy B? B? All right. Kimmy B. There's a speaker, Kimmy B. Speak to us, Kimmy B. All right. All right. Kimmy. Kimmy. There we go. Kimmy. Talk about it. Hello, Kimmy B. Yeah. All Whoa. All right. <laughs> Welcome. Did she fall? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome to Chirp About It Live, young lady. I'm so happy that you're on the show. I know last week we missed you, uh, but no fret. You are here uh, uh, this evening with us, so I can't wait to uh, speak with you and hear some of your your, your songs. Thank How are you? Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. I'm great. Oh, Thank good, you. good, 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 good. All right. I know you're a busy young lady. I mean, I, you had two uh, interviews today on radio. Yeah, I did. Yeah, how'd it go? That's awesome. Well, That's one of them I actually that. listened to. Uh, I listened to a portion of it. You did a wonderful job. Uh, and Thank you. Were you. In, you're all over the world, young lady. I mean, you, you, you have a, a song, uh, catch, catching, uh, catching Feelings, which is being played all over the world. Tell us about the song, Catching Feelings. <laughs> well, Catching Feelings is, uh, you know, it's a song about a real experience, you know, when I was catching some feelings. Um, and, uh, you know, the situation didn't go the way that I wanted it to, but I wrote a great song and it's doing great things. So I'm really excited about it. Yeah. It well, worked It worked out for the good. It worked out for the good. Something bad uh, ended up turning to be something very, very good. When did you write the, the song? I wrote it in uh, January of last year, 2017. Okay. And uh, now you have a music video. Co- now, this is actually, you have an EP coming out, by the way. Uh, when is the EP coming out, in fact? There's not a set date yet, but we're hoping for August. Okay, August. And Catching Feelings is, in fact, the, uh, the main song uh, on, this, on this EP. Am I right? Yeah, it's the first single um, off the EP. Um, but, I mean, I don't... I don't know. It might have been the main song to me a year and a half ago, but mm-hmm. it's kind of dwindled now. <laughs> Let me tell you, first of all, it's a hot, hot song. Ooh. I can't stop dancing to, to this to the song. Um, how's it doing Thank out you. there? I mean, what's the feedback? Oh, it's been great. Um, everybody loves the track. You know, it's a nice, smooth record. Um, I still love the track. When I first made it, I, I had it on replay, like, and it was my own song, but that's <laughs> when I know well, something's good, I'm you know? Doing the, I'm doing so, the same um, thing with this song, you know? It's on replay all the time. You know, thank you. It's, 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 yeah, that's how I felt about it, too. You know, and it, it kind of didn't even feel like it was mine. It was like, this is my song. <laughs> wow, this is dope. You know, so I love it. It's been great. So how I've got how great can you hear it? How can you I'm hear happy. it? All right, uh, Bob wants to know how can we hear it. I, I, I hear EP. I don't know what that is. Is that extra playing? What is EP? <laughs> I remember LP and 78s know, right? and, and 45s and 33s and a third. But what's an EP? Extra plus. Tell me how lame is it that I don't even know? What's the e- <laughs> well, I'm a big man. I got extra plus uh, sizes. I mean, what, what is what is EP? Well, you know what the funny thing is. I think it's the opposite because, like, I always said, I, my album, my album, and then you know, my producer says, "Well, no, why don't you drop an EP, and then you'll have enough to make two EPs." So the EP is, I think, like even less songs than an album would be. So, yeah, so I it's like a, it's, it's like a 45. It's, it's like a, extra, like you know, but. Uh, so one like a little record. It's a tiny. Uh, right, yeah, that's a that's a great question. Like, we should Google that. Uh, okay. We should uh, Google that. By, uh, by the way, Kimmy, that's Mister uh, Bob Greenberg. He's a really popular comedian here in New York City. Hey, hey. So, uh, hi, Bob. I don't have an EP. All right, with that, I have an SLP. I, don't know. <laughs> I, I think the I think the word is extended play. Extended play. That means extended play. play. So I it should be long. Well, I think. Uh, it's a term they use in massage parlors, too. Oh, hey, whoa. 
Uh, Kimmy, that's Mr. John Potter on the on the other uh, microphone. Hi, John. <laughs> Hello. Are we at a happy ending? <laughs> no. Well, with that, I, you know, I'd like to play that song for the public and for, uh, of course, Bob. Yes, and, I want to um, hear well, it. It's a really hot Whether song. Whether it's an EP or not. So, folks, this is uh, Catching Feelings <laughs> by Kimmy B. Ooh. Straight out of yeah. Toronto, Canada. Oh, Canada. Song. That was good. Kimmy! Thank you. Thank oh, yes. my God. Bravo, bravo. Hand clap for that. Seriously. Uh, clap, clap. Oh, man, that's get... clap. Yeah, yeah. Hot song. I gave her the clap. That's, that's a hot I'm summer sorry. song. I got to tell you, it's a hot that's summer good. song. Thank you. I, I can, let, listen, I, I'm from New York City, and I can, you know, I hang out in the area called uh, the Meatpacking District, mm. and there's a ton of hot, hot clubs in that area, mm. and I hear mm. catching feelings all over the place all over, in, in the Meatpacking District. I really mean that. And I will do really? my best to make, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is a hot uh, uh, club song, no question about it. And it's just yeah. fun. You know, yeah. it's just fun. You can, I, I can see myself, myself in my Porsche driving, drop top down, uh, yes. driving to the beach. You yes. know, with catching feelings. Like that. I love it. Now, uh, great beat. Who helped you produce this, uh, this uh, record, this song? 
That's uh, Joel J.J. Joseph. Shout out to him. He is an amazing person and producer. He's worked with uh, Nelly Furtado, Julie Black. He's served with Julie Black. Mm. Um, lots of great talents. Um, yeah. yeah, so he's, he's, uh, he's on my team, and uh, I'm very thankful for him. So he produced uh, Catching Feelings. He's uh, produced a couple other records uh, for me that we're working wow. on. Uh, one of them I'm really excited about. I almost don't want to say it because... Why? I don't want somebody else to go and try to take my deal before oh. I release my song. <laughs> Copyright it. Copyright it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we got a really smoking hot um, remake of I Got the Power. Oh, I got the power. Jimmy, oh, you mean Jimmy J.J. J. Walker, is that who's producing? Jimmy, how many J's are there? <laughs> Joel J.J., J. J. whatever it is, he's doing that. <laughs> Joel J.J. Joseph. Well, how'd, J. J. You, how'd you connect with uh, uh, Joel J.J. Joseph? <laughs> you know what? It was great, actually. I was working in a restaurant, and um, I passed my music along to a guy in the restaurant, and he said, you know, I have people that I know that do music, but I hear that so much yeah. that I kind of don't, I don't get excited when I hear that anymore because I just hear that all the time. Right. So I was like, okay, that's great, you know, and then next thing I know, I get a call from this guy, and it's Joel, and, um, you know, it, what's such a blessing is like so many times, you know, you'll you'll have a lead or whatever and you follow up on it and then mm -hmm. it seems like something's going to happen and nothing ever happens, right? right? But with Joelle, I said, I got this idea. I have some acapellas. I wrote this song. I think it's great. Um, I, I want something like Mariah Carey Candy Bling mixed with like Drake Passion Fruit. Wow. Can you give me that? You know, and he said, you know what? I got some things I'm working on. Give me a week and I'll see what I can do. Uh -huh. And, you know, I kind of forgot because like I said, it happens so often that the next week, all of a sudden, I get this text. Hey, I just shot you an email with the with the beat. You know, wow. Let me know what you think. And I cried when I heard it. I just started bawling my eyes out because wow. it was the first time that something went smoothly mm. and the way that I like envisioned it. And somebody actually just followed through, and it was like easy peasy pie. It was like mm. no chasing, no you know like no false. So it was just yeah. great. It was, it was a magical. great collaboration. It was a magical, uh, and we uh, become like. You know, Lightning in a bottle. Partner. Yeah. yeah cool. Now let me ask you: Did he hear the song first, or did he just uh, 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 present the beat to you or the music to you? Did no, I I um I wrote it and I recorded the acapella, so I already ah. had the melody. Um, you know, when I write, I typically hear the melody already, so it's just that I can't produce it well enough to get out the melody. So I just sang it. I went to the studio with Jeff McCulloch. I sang the acapella, and um. Yeah, the melody was all there. So mm. Joel just listened to it, and you know he just produced around the acapella. I love it. And then I went back and re-recorded it. So That's yeah, great. Joel should produce Noel, and you should sing Noel for Christmas. <laughs> right, I know, right? Joel's I know. Pre Joel presents Noel. Well, with you, Kimmy B. Yeah, Noel and Joel. And, and, yeah. In fact, uh, Kimmy, isn't your isn't your your uh, your your real name? I mean, your name is actually Kimberly Noel. Am I am I right? That's my name. Oh my goodness! And, and, and Bob just mentioned. I'm that. psychic. He had no clue. I'm psychotic. I'm psychotic. I put the. I had the. I, had, I saw the Noel. I saw it. I saw it in what? my head. Yeah, isn't that funny? Where did, where did that come from? And Tell no, me. from my butt. Honestly, I have these psychotic moments. It just. So that I made. How did I make that connection? No, he really didn't know. Hold on a second. Did so not you know. You just it. were there, and you heard Joel, and you just thought of Noel. That's there right. No that's reason. exactly what happened. Wow. Well, that's, that's what talented no. comedians do, you know. Yeah, it's, I guess you could say it's a comic thing, an association thing, but yeah. So, but it's also psychotic because her name is Noel. So, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Kimmy. Well, it's my middle name. It's Kimberly oh. Noel Brown Susian, which is Armenian. Uh, which is oh my funny, goodness. Kim Kardashian has the same name as me, and she's Armenian. She's Kimberly Whoa. Noel Kardashian. Whoa. Ah, see that? I didn't. I didn't know that. You learn something every day. Now, tell us about yeah. your uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, label that you're signed to. So it's uh, uh, AMG slash uh, Sony Music. Am I, am I correct? I, I'm not. No, I'm not signed to AMG. I just paid them for their marketing services. <laughs> I'm actually, it. and I and I got a distribution deal with Sony through them. Um, but uh, I'm not signed to anybody. I'm totally independent. I mm. pay for everything. Nobody um, backs me um, except my producer and my engineer. Um, but uh, I'm solely independent. I mm. just uh, went to AMG for um, releasing the single. Mm -hmm. I paid them up front for their services. Um, I, I really work really hard to make all things happen. Good. So. And how, how is that, uh, how's that partnership uh, working out for you? Um, well, it's, it's, uh, it's good. <laughs> it's, it's good. I mean, you know, would you recommend? She's doing all the work. What about partnership? She's doing it all. Well, they're doing their part as well. She's they're opening the doors. Service. They're opening doors. <laughs> well, let me ask you, in, in Bob's term, are they opening doors for you? 
<laughs> are you are you walking well, through I, doors? Definitely, they got me the interview with you guys. They are the ones that um, connected me with you guys yes. uh, through their radio marketing guys. So I am very grateful for so that. They are opening um, some doors I will for say, you. you know, there's you know, like we're more of a window, though. I think we're more I, of a window. I paid for that. I'm not really seeing um, any action on. So, but I'm thankful for for this connection okay. and for the other connections. With well, make them work for you. Um, Make them work for you, Kim, yeah. Kim, 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 whatever your name is. Well, I'm, I'm, you know, there, I, I mean. Noel, Kimby. It, it, it is what it is. All right, all right. <laughs> you all can't right. really make anybody do anything, even no. when you pay them. <laughs> well, that's, you know, that's some truth to that, uh, Kimmy. No question about it. With that, I'd like to play another song by you. Uh, now, I have two choices. It's either I made it or uh, I told you. Well, you I told me what? Was, um, oh. My first single that I ever released, and it was on uh, Christian radio back in 2015. Mm -hmm. um, and Told Ya is, uh, is actually a debut. It's a new song that I just debuted today mm. um, on another uh, station. All right. So um, in the United Kingdom, actually. And uh, mm. yeah. Well, um, you know what? Great. Let's debut so, it here uh, in New York City. How about that? Yeah, let's debut it for New York City. This All is right. Told ya. It's a debut. Right. Told Ya. Uh, Kimmy B. Folks. What'd you tell me? You told me something? I told you. <laughs> you told me what? song again i like I it told ya. well i told yeah, you i told you kimmy you're I hot it. i love I, it and that was a day boot <laughs> uh, yeah what, was, what, it was a day and was it also an ep was it an ep 
Or was it just a debut? <laughs> Yeah, it was a little bit of an extended play. It was right, extended good. play. Okay. Well, tell us about uh, tell us about this song, uh, Kimmy. I uh, told you, it's a song that I originally song? produced and uh -huh. uh, wrote myself, and then uh, a little while back, and then I wanted to have it reproduced. So me and my engineer and producer Jeff McCulloch reproduced it together and uh, spiked it up. We do have another remix coming of like a more bouncier, you know, just kind of rap uh, mm -hmm. remix. Yeah. Um, but um. Yeah, you know, it's it's more of my testimony, more of my heart. You know, I wow. I often wonder what people will feel when they hear it because catching feelings is so smooth and silky and soft and sweet and yeah. you know, then here comes told you and it's really like bold and in your face and more, you know, heart. So you you tell me like what you know, what is it like listening from one to the other? Does it does it is it all right? Well yeah, Kimmy, I enjoy I love it. I enjoy yeah, it. I, I don't oh, mind yeah. the contrast so at all. Yeah. John, what did you think? Awesome. Kimmy. Thank Kimmy. You. Come to Australia, they'll love you. Ah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. She'll, She'll have to go down under, right, to get to Australia. <laughs> well, by the way, Kimmy, uh, John Potter is from Australia. So, you know, already you get some uh, shine in uh, Australia. You know, you have an uh, Australian listening to your song here in New York That's City. Dope. Isn't that dope? That's and, that is and dope. He's, he's, he's very he's intelligent. Right. What do you mean? He's what do you mean? In, uh, Australia it? as well. Oh. You know? That's amazing. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we love her on the show. You have I to come back. I'm from Toronto, Canada. Toronto.